Doesn't look like it. I yield back. Thank you. The gentleman yields back. Uh, the gentleman from California uh, seeks to strike the last word. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Move to strike the last word. You're recognized for five minutes. Strike the last word. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I am proud to rise in support of the NTIA reauthorization bill that we're considering today. And I would like to thank you very much for including my bill, the American Cybersecurity Literacy Act, in this bill package. This is a bipartisan bill that I co-led with Congresswoman Eshoo that would seek to better educate the American public on the dangers of cybersecurity and what they need to do to enhance their own cybersecurity. I don't think it's news to anyone that cybersecurity is a growing threat to the American public, and yet I think our public is uh, woefully undereducated on this issue. And if you want proof of that, look no further than the fact that currently the most popular password used by American uh, computer users is in itself the word password, followed in second place by the numbers one, two, three, four, five together. Uh, and that is particularly troubling when you consider that recent cybersecurity problems and hacks by uh, foreign actors have revolved around the compromise of personal passwords. In fact, in 2021, the Colonial Pipeline was taken down by the hack of a personal password. That resulted in the disruption of oil supplies to the entire eastern half of the United States. That's an indication of the dangers that can occur when the public doesn't take the issue of cybersecurity seriously. So this bill would direct the NTIA to conduct a public outreach campaign on how Americans can better uh, protect themselves from cybersecurity threats. I think it's a worthwhile bill, and I thank you for including it in this bill package. Uh, I yield uh, the bill pack. I uh, encourage the bill package's adoption. I yield back. 